When I was starting to trade options, I used to be very, very active in the markets. I used to really place a lot of trades on a daily basis, whether it was credit spreads, triangles, straddles, I mean, any type of trade, I used to be very active. But now I'm actually trading less than what I used to do, and I'm actually doing better than at the beginning. That's why in this video, I wanted to discuss why I actually trade less than what I used to when starting to trade options, and why it actually might be better, at least for me, to trade less than what I used to. And if at any point you find this video interesting, and you want to see more videos like this one where I'm basically talking about my experience, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. That's really the best support you can give me and it helps me know what type of videos you want to see. So as I was saying, when I started trading options, I used to really follow a lot of Tasty Trade. And of course, they are an amazing resource. I really learned a ton with Tasty Trade. And if you're just starting options, I really recommend you to go toward Tasty Trade to learn everything. And one of the recommendations of Tasty Trade is to really trade often. And maybe at the beginning I misunderstood why trading often meant because I was really trading often and maybe more than what I should have and when I was starting to trade options I used for example to trade a lot of credit spreads and the good thing with credit spreads is that you need a smaller capital requirement so it's very easy to sell a lot of credit spreads at once and I think there is still a risk when you trade credit spreads because it's harder to roll but I really I think misunderstood the fact of trading often and now I still consider that I trade often when I trade but I just place for example two or three trades a week and and I still consider this trading often. But before, when I was starting to trade options, I used to consider four or five trades a day actually trading often. And now I think that it's almost too much. And let me explain why. Before, I used to just try to spot what was expensive in the markets and just used to sell options on this type of products. And to illustrate what I mean in terms of trading often, if we were to classify, for example, the trade opportunities that you can have with an A, B, C, D, and A being the best opportunities and D being the worst opportunity. I used to sell a lot of A, B, C opportunities and in the end I didn't necessarily make that much money because the B and C opportunities were really dragging my portfolio down. And of course the A opportunities were there and I was really making a good money out of them but I was really confused because I was really following everything that Testy Trade was saying. I was really trading often. I was you know selling all of those credit spreads, triangles, straddles and yes I was making money with some trades but on the other hand I had a lot of trades that were really dragging me down. Until I started actually training less often and as i said for me three four trades a week is actually training often i think it's being active and i really consider this as training often but what i realized when i started actually training less i started becoming more picky about the trades that i was taking and i really started focusing on only trying to trade those a opportunities that i could see in the markets and instead of trying to trade those b's and c's opportunities that i used to trade when i was starting i tried to just let them on the side and only try to focus on the A opportunities and what I found is that by trading less I actually started making more because usually the losses that I used to have were only coming from those B's and those C opportunities and when focusing on the A opportunities usually my trades were actually going on very well and of course that doesn't mean that the A opportunities are going to be all winners 100% winners that doesn't work like this I, I still have losers and that still happens but I found that my trading results actually got better by trying to focus on the best opportunities I could find. And that's why I think that maybe training often can be misunderstood by beginners, especially when you start training options. And I've really been in that position. So I really know how it feels to understand that you need to really be active in the markets. And I think there is really a very big difference between being active in the markets, placing some trades a week, and actually placing four or five trades a day, for example, which is very active. And that's something that I would really recommend everyone doing is to really try to classify the opportunities that you find in the markets and really wonder am I giving myself the best chance possible so as to be a winner in this trade or is this a trade that I would actually not take if I had a better opportunity in front of me and this type of thinking is very interesting because now you start actually really questioning the opportunities that you have in front of you and that's where all the patience and discipline actually comes into play and that's why you also need to learn to sit on your hands and to maybe let go an opportunity that might not be the best opportunity that you can have and it's maybe better to sit on your hands and wait for a better opportunity rather than trying to jump on one that is actually a bad one and you might end up with a very bad loser. And one of the very good examples is earning trades. And when I want to trade earnings for a company, I'm usually doing a bit of research in terms of how did the stock move historically when earnings happen, what is the expected move. And usually when I see that I'm facing a B or C opportunity, it's really hard to sit on my hands, but I really try to because I know that those A opportunities are going to come eventually and they're really worth waiting for. 
And when I look at my own PL in the past and I look at the trades that I've taken and what are the worst trades that I've taken, if I was going to classify those opportunities prior to taking them, all of the worst trades that I've taken would be around the B or C opportunities. And that's actually quite crazy to realize that those trades that I was considering as almost a good opportunity but not really were actually the ones that caused me the biggest losses. For the previous earnings of Zoom, I wanted to trade them and I started placing an iron condor and I remember thinking that this was a risky trade in a way because Zoom is a, first of all a tech company so they're actually quite volatile and on top of that Zoom benefited a lot from the quarantine so I really wasn't sure about myself on, on should I put actually that trade on is that really a good idea and I remember thinking that this was really not necessarily the best opportunity available hence why I actually went for an iron condo and usually I'm going for a strangle so that really showed that I really wasn't confident in the trades that I was going to take and guess what the next day Zoom went up like crazy and my iron condo absolutely got crushed and I was in the max loss directly when the market opened. I think I sold the iron condo maybe for 50 cent and I had to buy it for five dollar of debit. I mean that was like a full on loser, max loser, I mean the worst possible, the worst case possible. And that's really where I started trying to really trade less like three or four trades a week which is still quite a lot and really trying to focus on the best opportunities that I would have in front of me and if not I would just let them go. And what happened so far is that I really realized that trading less is actually beneficial for me and as much as trading often and staying active in the markets is very important and I really agree with this I think there is really this limit that you really need to be mindful of and if you start trading too often you might start taking opportunities that are not really wants and start having losses because of this so that was really a quick video I hope that you found value in it and that was really just a video about sharing my opinion on why I think that sometimes trading less can be beneficial at least it's been beneficial for me. Maybe it's not going to be beneficial for you. If you've been watching until the end, thank you very much for watching until the end. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, I wish you all the best.